Hi guys, Heather Ballantyne here, and this is Heather's Highlights. Today I'll be talking to you about stories, scenarios, and life lessons that I've learned throughout my journey. And it's time I pass that knowledge on to you. So come on inside, let's chat. Hi guys, Heather Ballantyne here. Today's highlight is the red dress. So this goes way back to before I was even in car sales. I was living in LA. I had literally just moved from Arkansas to LA. I had no job. I didn't know anybody. I was just starting over. But um, I was drawn to LA. I wanted to do something in entertainment, but I still needed a job to pay the bills. So I thought, oh, I'll get a night job. You know, then I'm available during the day to audition and whatnot. What I didn't realize is how much bigger Los Angeles is than Arkansas and that everybody in LA wants a night job. So uh, I was kind of in for a rude awakening. I was very naive and you guys have to remember I'm older than most of you probably and that was the day and age where you looked literally in a newspaper for an ad to go get a job. So I remember opening the LA Times and seeing that the Hollywood Palladium was hiring a cocktail waitress for the VIP room. And I thought, awesome, that would be great, right? There's like tons of famous bands and musicians coming in there and I would probably be able to network and meet lots of people, make connections. Plus it would just be fun because you're hearing like amazing concerts all the time when you're working. So, uh, you know, seemed like a really good job for my early 20s. And um, it said, if you were interested to please show up, I think it was like a Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And the Hollywood Palladium, if you're not familiar, in, in LA, it has like this massive parking lot, right? So obviously, being the naive girl from Arkansas, I thought cocktail waitress, I'll wear a cocktail dress. I didn't know that the normal uniform for that sort of job was a button down white shirt and black pants. I had no idea. The only thing I'd ever done is like, you know, a waitress job and I had done some selling like at Costco and Sam's Club. I was a lifeguard, you know, I had done a job in the mall, but I had never done anything like this. So I just assumed that I was supposed to wear a cocktail dress. So I look in my closet, I see this really, you know, comfortable, sexy red dress. I'm like, perfect, you know, that'll stand out, that'll be great. Well, I didn't realize how much it would stand out. So I get there on Saturday morning, I park, and I cannot believe it. There is like 500 people lined up, all in white button-down shirts and black pants. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like one of these things is not like the other. And I lived like, you know, 40 minutes at least in LA traffic from the place, so I, I knew I did not have time to go home and change. I didn't have a change of clothes, especially something so specific as a button-down white shirt and black pants in my car. So I was like, I guess I'm screwed. I have to wear this like super bright red dress. And I had on black heels. I was like dressed to the nines and everybody else just looked like, you know, someone who worked for a staffing company. White button-down shirt, black pants and flats. So I was pretty embarrassed. I grabbed my resume. I went ahead and got out of the car because I'm not a quitter. You guys probably know that about me from all the videos you've seen so far. And I get in line. And shortly after, I think it was maybe 15 or 20 minutes after I rolled up, this guy, very good looking, you know, he almost reminded me of like something out of a mafioso movie. He had dark gel back hair. He had like an Armani black suit and he comes out and he's scanning the line and he tells everyone to get in a single file line, which we do, and he's scanning and he's scanning and he stops at me and he says, you, come with me. And I'm like, oh, like me, you mean me? And I'm looking around and he's like, you. I'm like, okay. So I go and we go to this, you know, dungeon-esque sort of office down in the bottom of the Hollywood Palladium and he starts asking me questions about making drinks and, you know, if I've had experience and if I know what I'm doing. And I'm like, look, you know, I have a little bit of experience, but you know, I do learn really fast. Give me a shot. You know, I'm talking my way as best I can into getting this job. And he says, can you start tonight? And I'm like, yes, okay, yes, I can start tonight. So I ended up getting the job and it was amazing 
because I almost turned around and went home. Like I almost gave up because I was different than everybody there, right? And automatically our minds go to, oh no, I've messed up, I'm different. But this is a prime example of when different worked in my favor because there were so many people lined up. The fact that I wore the wrong outfit, the fact that I wore a bright red dress, he noticed me, he looked at me, he pulled me out of the crowd, he interviewed me and I got the job. So needless to say, this started my journey in LA. I was able to make money at night, paying my bills and audition as an actress and a musician. I ended up a few years later getting my record deal. I did movies on Lifetime Channel, I did commercials, but I always think back about that first job in LA and how I almost turned away and went home. So basically guys, don't be afraid to wear the red dress and dare to be different because it could work out in your favor. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you'd like to know more about me as a sales specialist and entrepreneur, be sure to check out my website at heathervalentine.com and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to know more about the Lamborghini brand, be sure to make an appointment with me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto in Vaughan.